Okay, Brian, I want to do a little video of you to explain everything. Um, so here's all your paint, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I drew the rainbow on with chalk, as you can see, but I'm sorry, I couldn't reach up there. Um, so it actually goes all the way around to this wall. So I'm hoping you can figure out that part. Um, I do have a stool. Um, I'm hoping it works for you. It's, it was almost tall enough for me, but not quite. So if you need another one, there is one out in the hallway or in the boys restroom because um, Ed Shortridge has been working on stuff here. So that's the rainbow. If you could do it, it'd be great. I have all sorts of paint brushes up here for you. Everything, you know, is covered so we don't get paint on the floor or anything. So you should be set. There's chalk. That's what I used to draw on because I find uh, that it wipes off very easily. Now I do find that it's very hard to paint over top of chalk. So I don't even want to wipe it first, but it's totally up to you. So in regards to this, if you want to, you can do like a separate like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or if you want to, you can blend them. I feel like blending may be better because I don't know if you're going to get it exactly even, you know, um, but it is totally up to you. I know with blending, you have to kind of do it when it's kind of still wet. So um, that might work well too, but it's totally up to you. And then at the end of the rainbow, if you can kind of just like fade it out, I'll show you, a, I'll show you a picture of one that I saw. So it's not just like this abrupt like line there, if you know what I mean. Um, and then at the end of the rainbow, there's going to be a Bible verse that says something like the heavens declare the glory of the Lord, I think, um, something like that. So I will do that with my Cricut. Um, so all I need you to do is do the rainbow. So I hope that's clear. Um, and just let me know, you know, when you're done and you know how you're doing and everything. So I can come up and clean up and do all that kind of stuff. Um, if you can clean up the paint brushes, that'd be great because I like to reuse them if I can. If not, that's okay. Um, the best place to clean them up probably is not in this sink, but maybe the kitchen sink. Just be really careful. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I checked all the paint. All the paint should work. It's not dried up or anything. So um, go for it. They may. I would probably shake them first because some of them are pretty old. I shook them a little bit, but it's easier to do that than sh stirring it. So anyways, thanks so much. I'm really excited to see it all the way done. It's going to look so cool. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye.